Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about visitor design pattern. Visitor design pattern is also a design pattern from gang of four design patterns. Visitor design pattern is a behavioral design pattern. And the main intent of this pattern is to represent an operation to be performed on the element of an object structure. Visitor lets us define a new operation without changing the classes of the elements on which it operates. So putting these two statements together makes it really hard to understand the intent. But at a high level, what visitor does is the visitor pattern mainly represents an operation to be performed on an object structure or on the element of an object structure. Once we get into the example, it will be much more clearer what exactly it means, what exactly the intent of this pattern is. So to explain that, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show an example which is without using the visitor pattern. Identify what is the problem with the current implementation and then go ahead, rewrite this problem using the visitor design pattern. So let's consider this situation where we have a notification sender. Now notification can be any type of notification. It can be notification about an invoice or a marketing material or a subscription getting expired because all of them will have different content as well as different logic which will trigger them. Now for the notification itself, it is just a single method send, but the notification can be sent through multiple medium. It can be sent through an email. It can be sent through a text. So initially when we build the system, we decided, okay, we are going to have two modes of notification, which is email and text. So we created our interface such a way that it sends the notification and then it allows to set up the email and text notification type. And then we have a invoice notification sender, which goes ahead and implements the notification sender and provides implementation of setup email, setup text and send. Right now, I'm just doing a console.write line, but this gives you an idea how the current implementation is done. And similarly, we have a marketing notification sender, which also implements the iNotification sender, and it does the same thing. It sets up an email, sets up a text, and send a message. And then in program class, we create the invoice notification sender, marketing notification sender. We set up both email and text for both of them, and then send a message. Now, at a first look, this implementation doesn't look so bad. It has an interface and then individual classes implements individual types of notification sender, and then you can use them to send notification. You can also use either email or text based on what setup you call here. Now, of course, if you are using solid design principle, this implementation will be a little bit different, but let's keep focus on the Gang of Four design patterns and visitor design pattern. So now let's just run this application to show that, yeah, we are setting up email, setting up text, then sending a notification to invoice, and then same thing for marketing. Now, the biggest problem with this implementation is that if we have to send, if we decide that now we want to send a notification through a web socket, or we want to also add a notification to the mobile applications using Firebase notification then our implementation of the notification sender needs to be updated to add two new method here. And then we'll have to go and update each of the class. So this is where the visitor pattern comes in. As you remember, based on the intent, now let's look back into the intent, then we'll, it will be clearer this time, is that to represent an operation to be performed on the elements of an object structure, so the operation that we are trying to perform on the element of the object structure is set up email or set up text. And then we can have a visitor that lets us define a new operation without changing the classes of the elements in which it operates. Meaning if we take the setup of email and text out of this class and define it in visitor class, let the visitor define the operation. In which case, even if we want to have a new type of notification protocol, it is not going to change our implementation of notification sender itself. So now let's go back and try to refactor this implementation. So at a primary goal, what we want to do is we want to keep 
the notification for sending notification and we want to give the setup to the visitor. So for that we have to accept the visitor. So let's define a method called void accept and it is going to accept a new interface called a visitor i visitor so let's define this interface and the visitor itself is going to have a single method void visit and here the visitor is going to take i notification sender as a input parameter and let's make it as internal so now we define the visitor interface Next, what we are going to do is now from the invoice sender and marketing sender, the implementation is going to change. So the setup email and setup text does not exist anymore. These responsibilities will be taken care by the visitor. So how will we define the visitor? So for visitor, what we can do is we can define a class call and I'm going to define the class right here because it's a small class so I can define it here. So we can have an email visitor and the email visitor is going to basically set up the email protocol on the I notification sender. But for here, I'm just going to copy and paste this console.write line. Considering this is what is going to set up. And similarly, we can have another class called text visitor. And the text visitor is going to do the same thing. It is just going to do a console.write line. So as you can see, by implementing the visitor, we moved the implementation of setting up the email as well as text protocol outside of the notification class or the notification sender class. So at this point, we can get rid of these two methods. These are not required anymore. And here in the except method what we are going to do is we're just going to call the visitor dot visit and we are going to pass the current class into it similarly for marketing notification sender we are going to have the exact same implementation where we're going to say visitor dot visit of this so this completely changed the landscape of how this is going to work. Now, as you can see for the visitor, just like email or text, we can easily add new visitors in the future and it is not going to impact the invoice notification center or marketing notification center or the core interface of notification center because this association between the notification center and the visitor will be managed by the caller or the setup function. So here now what we can do is first we will declare email visitor is equal to new email visitor and var text visitor equal to text visitor and here what we can do is we can accept email visitor accept text visitor. And same thing here, except email visitor, except text visitor. And now if we run this function, it is going to behave exactly same as the previous implementation. Set up email, set up text, send notification. Set up email, set up text, send notification. Now if we decide that we need another type of visitor, let's say a WebSocket visitor. So we can simply go ahead and create a new class. WebSocket visitor, which is going to implement the I visitor. And in the implementation here, we can just do a console.write line for the time being to show how it works but as you can understand ultimately for all the visitor i notification center class will be used to set up the notification protocol for that notification and this is what is ultimately going to be used while a notification is sent what type of protocol 
but I have not detailed everything here because that's a full fledged implementation. So now we created a WebSocket visitor and let's say for the marketing notification, we want the WebSocket also to be sending notifications. So all we have to do is here we have to declare var WebSocket visitor equal to new WebSocket visitor. And here what we can do is we can say for the notification sender to dot accept. And here we can say WebSocket visitor. And now the marketing notification sender is going to send notification through email, text, and WebSocket visitor. And as you can see, we did not have to make any change to the marketing notification sender for achieving a new type of protocol for sending notification. And as you can see, for marketing notification here, we can see set up email, set up text, and set up WebSocket. So as you can see, this is also a very handy design pattern which can be used in a situation like this. This design pattern helps us give the responsibility of managing setup or configuration into a visitor and visitor takes the object and helps configure it for different protocol. That is exactly what it is doing. And that is exactly what is the intent of the pattern, which is visitor lets you define new operation without changing the class of the element on which it operates. And that is exactly what we achieved here. So that's all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you think you are getting value out of this channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.